Hey there, Bob James from Daily Enduring Truth here with you again this week. I'm in a little bit of a different place this week. I'm in our kitchen and as you can tell the kitchen has been ripped apart. It's been taken down, it will soon be taken down to the studs, the drywall still up from before, but we're getting a new kitchen. We had lots of problems. The stove went out, the refrigerator wasn't doing too well, the dishwasher has been out, and basically there was no way just to replace things. We had to pretty much do the whole kitchen. And so what you're seeing behind me, yeah, you can see the beautiful work that's been going on, the holes in the wall, all that's been done to get out all the bad stuff. And as people keep telling me, in a couple of weeks we're gonna be grateful because it's gonna, we're gonna have a nice new kitchen. And you know, in a sense, that's what it, salvation really gets down to, is the fact that we let God come into our lives, clean out all that stuff that doesn't work, and then we let him build us up again. And so that's the, the reason why I'm doing things in my kitchen today. It's been a busy day. We went out and we bought, uh, uh, we, bought we paid for appliances. We ordered our cabinets, but uh, we couldn't pay for them because the bank has these limits on how much you can, you can spend at one time. So uh, we're going to have to take care of the payments for that later on. But we've been doing a bunch of stuff to get ready. We had to get all of our stuff out of here first. And then the uh, contractor went ahead and tore the kitchen apart. He scraped up the floor. And like I said, the drywall's coming out. And then the electricity's going to be redone. The plumbing's going to be redone. The walls are going to come back. Uh, and it'll be an amazing transformation. And that's how God works in us. And I thought about that as I was going through Mark 1 today, the end, the end of Mark 1. And uh, you have Jesus teaching, you have Jesus healing. And what happened is, in the beginning, after Jesus healed his mother-in-law, what happened is people started coming. Now, they waited until the evening, which I think is interesting because they didn't want to take a chance on making Jesus break the Sabbath. And so that, that's why I think they waited until the evening. They didn't want to break the Sabbath and they didn't want to force Jesus to. And then they came and they were healed. And where did they find Jesus the next morning? He was praying. Jesus didn't try to take advantage and say, okay, we're going to set up business here. I'll have people coming from all over, the, all over Israel just for me. What he said was, no, I've got more work to do. And the story ends with a leper. Now, the leper comes and stops before him. And if you want to know about social distancing, the lepers were the original social distancers. They had to go out. They, I'm going to turn that way just for the light from the window. They had to go out and stay away from everybody. If anybody came near, they were supposed to yell unclean. They were supposed to indicate who they were, and they could not get near. And what did this leper do? He came and he kneeled at Jesus' feet, so close that Jesus could reach out and touch him to heal him. So he broke all the rules but because Jesus brought healing. And in his life, Jesus tore out all the bad stuff and rebuilt all the new stuff. So as, we, as you head into this week's Bible study, realize that's part of the, the work that Jesus is doing. And that's one of the reasons why we did this kitchen. Our church is going to continue online broadcasting, but we're also beginning to meet in person. If you're in Corpus Christi, we have two services, an 830 for those who are 65 and older, or those who have health conditions, and then we have an 11 o'clock service, which is available to all people. There will be certain guidelines practiced to avoid people getting too close, uh, and until, for a while there, we're not going to have any hugging or shaking hands officially. So, but we are work meeting in person. If you are still uncomfortable, you can catch our church's broadcast at live.2bc.org and uh, or on Facebook if you go to Second Baptist Church Corpus Christi in the videos and you'll be able to comment there. But we would love to have you worship with us. Just continue to let Jesus work in your life and continue to show how he can rebuild you to be the kind of person he wants you to be. Y'all have a great week. May God continue to bless you.